This is reactive neuromuscular training. Now, in the shoulder, all, a lot of times we'll see our athletes, they have difficulty with overhead squatting or um, catching a snatch down into that deep squat, right? What we end up seeing a lot of times is with athletes, there's a couple things. One, they either dump their back to try and get more overhead extension, or what we see also is that when you get overhead, we start to see people as they squat, they drift forward and that bar comes forward, making it really challenging on their shoulder and back to keep upright. Now, this reactive neuromuscular training, it actually causes you to cue you and work in with a, with a lighter load by trying to exacerbate the problem by pulling you forward and causing you to have to use the muscles on the backside of your shoulder in order to facilitate that movement with your squat, okay? This is a great one to do before you, if you know you're gonna be doing some overhead squatting, you know you're gonna be doing some snatching, or if you've done some really great mobility work and you're trying to reinforce that with this training, okay? So, if you need a band, you can either use symmetry or any other kind of elastic band. You can also grab one of the row bands as well, okay? I'm gonna set it up about chest height. Come here. You're gonna start up. Again, don't lose your back to get more extension. If you come a little bit forward, that's okay. So, you're here, up overhead, and you wanna squat while maintaining that arm back. You're gonna fight for that. Now, some people find, if they're having trouble with this, you may cramp up, and that's totally normal. You wanna do anywhere from 10 to 15 of these before going into doing some overhead uh, work with a squat or snatch. Again, neuromuscular, reactive neuromuscular training. Good luck.